leading occupational saving schemes such as Bank of Uganda staff at 424 billion shillings, the Parliamentary Pension Scheme at 207 billion shillings, Makerere University at 144 billion shillings, among others, will return an asset value of at least 2 trillion shillings within a year, according to the sector regulator. If in five years it has gone at that rate, we see a very uh, rich environment going forward. A huge investment base in this market contributed by the pension sector in this in the industry. Notwithstanding the reforms in the public service pension scheme, which are going to start a contributory scheme, I think the next two years they are about the Uganda Retirement Benefits Regulatory Authority says smaller schemes now ought to consider such umbrella outfits whose investment incomes are above 70% by virtue of economies of scale. Join an umbrella. It will serve you the same purpose because you have the independent professionals, fund manager, you to have a custodian, you to have a professional administrator who is running this system who is getting all the contributions, keeping the records for you, and also provide you with updated statements. Even then, with most of the schemes investing in government securities at 59%, OBRA says it is committing itself in enhancing supervision of the growing trillion shillings occupational schemes. Protecting their funds, and even do whistleblowing, because if you tell us anything that is happening undercover, you help us as we execute our supervisory role. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.